Welcome back to Darkwood. In the last episode, we were tasked with finding a Marcinek by the people in the Swamp Cottage. And apparently, Marcinek is with the Mushroom Granny. So, I'm gonna head back there, and I'll meet you back when I'm there. Okay, we're here. Let, let me put on my lantern. Right, so we need in here, and we need a key. Show item, cigarette pack. A torn, empty pack of cigarettes. Bring a fresh one next time. The woman examines the drawing on the package. Is it our quarry? Ah, yes. It's the one located in the southern part of the swamp. Indeed. I already found it. So, she's insisted there's nothing to be found in that door. Which leaves me with no option, but I guess to kill her. Like, outside of this menu. Or... Eat her? I guess? I need her key. Which I'm sure she has on her. Do I really want to eat her, though? Like, why don't I just kill her a different way? That seems <laughs> that seems a bit extreme and kind of scary. Also, if I eat her, will I get the key? Or will the key be inside of me? Um... Well, I need to kill her. I'm really, really curious. We're gonna do it. She's a liar. She kidnapped Marcinek. I lean towards the old lady. The sweet fragrance of mushrooms overwhelms me. I have to eat her. Hmm. This is if I'm like truly addicted to the essence. But the thing is, I don't need any more essence. Should I eat her? No. Move away. I'm really curious what that would do, but... It's too risky. That's not what I'm here for. I didn't hear. I need the key. You're a liar. Oh, <laughs> she continued to rock a little bit after I shot her. Oh my god. What a detail. There's the key. There's Marcinek. Why the hell did you kidnap them, huh? Uh, hold on, before I talk to them, what, what are these notes? Same sorts of drawings that Marcinek made. Well, they show a door. Oh, this is the Mushroom Granny's place, isn't it? Because I see all these flowers here. And then a big door. I think? Or no, sorry, that's not the Mushroom Granny's place. That's um, that's their home. The the elephants? These must be their, their friends. You can see, like, the tubes of air going up from the tanks to their mouth. Yeah, that's the place with the flowers. Here's another door with arms sticking out of it. Or branches. They look like arms to me. Hi there. The boy is standing under a wall overgrown with enormous mushrooms. He's visibly scared. His lush mop of hair veils a restless, wide-open pair of eyes. The kid is whispering as if reciting something under his breath. The boy cowers and presses his back against the soft wall, which starts to ooze a white goo. Kneel and extend your arm towards the boy. New journal entry, weird rhyme. The boy is... Oh, oh this is what that other kid was trying to... Uh, tell me back there. 
The boy is terrified slowly. He slumps down from the wall to the ground, curling into a ball. The murmur turns into a loud recitation. One little bear ate a bowl of soup. Then another bear came, and there were two. Four little bears made a sudden pow. Along came the fifth, and took a bow. Took a little bow. Rather. Remember when the other kid tried to say that? The mom, like, hit him quite hard and said, don't do that in front of strangers. Why? What, is it, what does it mean? Is this like their family talking about how they came together or something? Right, growing bigger and bigger, they, like, found each other? But I thought there was only four. I thought there's only four kids, right? The three that I met, plus Marcinic who went missing. Oh no, there is a fifth. The fifth is the the blessed child they talked about who seems to somehow magically fill their oxygen tanks and whatnot, which is very suspicious and strange. Okay, put the boy on your back and lead him to his family. When I take the boy into my arms, he starts screaming, reciting the rhyme over and over. What the hell? This is going to be a long journey. As we pass the remains of the old lady, the boy stops reciting. I feel his hands tightly clutching my coat. Granny? As I cross the, the cottage's threshold, I can hear him sobbing quietly. You brought back my child. The woman leans towards the boy. Marson, where have you been? The boy stares at the ground in silence. Come here. Marsenic walks towards the woman, nervously plucking at his old, torn sweater. Look at you. Where's your mask and the gas tank from your gracious brother? His love protects us. It fills our lungs with clean air, and this is how you thank him, young man? Your childish behavior made him very, very angry. Now we will all have to apologize to him for your stupidity. The two kids standing behind their mother flinch. Who is this fifth person and how are you going to apologize? You treat them like a deity. The woman grabs the boy's hand and disappears in the hallway. After a while, she comes back with an oxygen tank. Take it. It's a tank for you. It will protect you from this devilish air, the devil's breath, and other evils lurking in this foul place. It's the only thing I have, the only thing I can give you. The tank is a little rusty, but it seems intact. On the side, I can see some unintelligible scribblings. The valve opens with a little resistance, but I don't hear the hiss of air. It's empty. Do not open the valve without need. You will only waste the clean air. She pushes my hand away from the valve and closes it hastily. May it serve you well. You will only waste the clean air, but it's empty. Closes it hastily. That makes me think, are their oxygen tanks not actually filled up with anything? Are they just empty? It serve you well. How are they going to apologize? I'm disturbed to just leave them, but I mean, there's nothing I can do here, right? Yeah, I see the fourth one there now. Not in the image, but I can see him cowering behind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, maybe they're not cowering behind. Talking about the bears again. None of my keys fit. Ah, oh, I want to go back in there. I guess I gave back the key that opened it. I want to talk to that kid. Something's wrong here. But I just don't know what the hell it is. I don't know what the hell, like, kind of dynamic is going on with this family and the mushroom granny. I mean, the boy was seemingly kidnapped by the mushroom granny, but yet still... 
I sobbed when, you know, they saw her dead. So, still loved her. I don't know. Okay. Do I have time to head to the underwater passage? I do. Yeah, it shouldn't be much of a problem at all. I'm just going to head down here to the holes, go back to the hideout, fill the oxygen tank, and then head up here. Let's do it. I brought along pills just for the occasion. Let's hope my little snake friend still is not home. Doesn't look like it. Ooh. Okay. Whew. Let's go fill up that tank. What if I need to run the generator? Refilled all the empty oxygen tanks. Tank filled with oxygen. So do I have to, like, use it? No, it looks like I can't use it manually. Okay. Alright. Um, I'll meet you back when I encounter an enemy, of course. Or when I reach the pool of water over here that had the underwater passage. Here we go. We've arrived. Still many hours left in the day. Okay. Where are you going to take me? I'm still banking on maybe taking me to the wreckage, because when I'm standing here, it says I'm at the wreckage. Here we go. Oh, this place has quite a sound. Whew. Holy shit, this place is ominous. This time- oh, time's passing. Yeah, it still shows the map, so I think I am at the wreckage. Okay, time's passing, so we don't want to dawdle too much. Yep, there's the plane. Or helicopter, rather. Oh. Assault rifle. Hello. Military flashlight and a battery. Well, now would be a pretty good time to use that flashlight, actually. So incredibly bright. Huh. It seemed brighter last time I used it. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure I check this place thoroughly. Oh, I can go around the tip. Okay. That's nothing. No. Possible that's it? I think the assault rifle itself is probably worth enough. I was hoping for some sort of story elements though. A note or something. Wonder why it crashed. I think that's it. I really, really doubly want to make sure I didn't miss anything, though. Oh, you can go inside. Well, hello. That's important. Corpse. Rope and a rag. That crashed a long time ago. Yes! Photo! That's the... That's the doctor. Could the doctor have been the deserter, maybe? Or at least someone who was in the military and then... Got lost somewhere? Everyone else died, they survived? Something. That is the doctor. I have the other side of that photo, too. Let me just check real quick, make sure there's nothing else in here.
Yeah, it looks like that's it. Yeah, let's look at the other side of that photo. Destroyed photo. Where was it? Torn photo? Yeah, there we go. It's the other side of it. Hmm. Let's take a look at the journal now. I still- I feel like I have so many pieces of the story, but like, I just don't know how to bring it together, like exactly who I am. I'm definitely military, there's no doubt about that, but... Am I the deserter? Am I just some other military person that managed to survive? Hmm. Just little years old fragments that have rusted and turned to goo and whatnot. Weird rhyme. Primitive map. Okay, here we go. Weird rhyme. The boy kept reciting the rhyme. One little berry. Yep, soup. Mm -hmm. It's strange that they, that they note it down in the journal, though, huh? Does that... Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Is that a passcode? One little bear ate a bowl of soup. Then another bear came and there were two. Four little bears made a sudden pow. Along came the fifth and took a little bow. That's four numbers. One, two, four, five. Hmm. What would it be a password to? Perhaps the locked, uh, it wasn't a chest, locked something in the Mushroom Granny's house? Hmm. But then why would they all know that, that chant, that rhyme? Like, the whole family knows it. And they said, shh, like, the mother said, shh, not in front of other people. Oh, the mother was teaching it to the children. It was like a mnemonic to help them remember the password to something that they would need to remember. They said not in front of, you know, other people because they didn't want me to know the password. Was there something that needed a password inside of their home? Otherwise, why would they all memorize the password to the thing in the Mushroom Granny's place? I need to go back to those two places. Damn, I wish I thought of that at the time. Oh well. We'll try it. We'll definitely try it. I took the boy back to the family. Received an oxygen tank from the masked woman. Unfortunately, it's empty. Maybe I'll fill it using the compressor. Okay. Alright, let's head back. That was definitely worth it for the assault rifle. Not to mention the lore. I wonder if I'm gonna use that oxygen tank for anything else. Because it looked like I could progress without even bothering with it. Because it seems like I progressed by going underneath the, um, the radio tower. Okay, well, 15, 16, 18, so I've got three hours remaining. I'm very close to the mushroom glade, so I think we're gonna go back to that place and try the passcode. Okay, I'm back here. Just want to make sure she's still dead. Creeps me out that she's just hanging out there. Okay. Uh, one, two, four, five. Hmm. Let me just double check and make sure that's what it was. One, two, four. Five. Was there a passcode at the swamp co at the swamp cottage to something? Uh, I want to know, and you know what? I think I have time to go there because I can just head down to the holes right after and just be back at home. I, 
have to know. I have to know. Alright, I'm gonna run back there. See if I have time. Ah, yes, I see flowers. It's... up above the old shed. Great. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, maybe it's, a, maybe it's here. Wasn't there something that needed a password here? Because this, right, there's a trail of flowers leading from the old shed to the swamp cottage. Maybe it's actually here. I thought there was something that needed a password here. No, let's leave that open. Ah. Ah. I bet it's this, isn't it? I'm glad I found this place first, or I probably wouldn't have remembered that. One, two, four, five. Oh my god, that's it. Oh, fuck me, I'm scared now. No, don't drop it. Fuck. I don't have much time. Come on, come on, stop fumbling. Mm. There is dreadfully rancid and stuffy. The heavy, sweet smell of the flowers mixes with the stench. Must return to my place before nightfall. Yes, indeed. Okay. Gah. New journal entry, elephant shed. Oh, that's... Decaying corpse, probably of a young boy. That's the blessed boy that fills their tanks. They're not... They're not breathing anything through the oxygen tanks. They're empty. A second oxygen tank. Whoa. Pages are glued together, creating a rotting clump of paper. There's a note at the bottom. Radio tower, door 21, 12 p.m. At the top, I can only make out the words devil horns, or the rest of the words are unre unreadable. I'm going to read that again. If you bring it up again, I think it brings up the text again. But uh, let's see if we can run back to base real quick. They like the kids like drew things on the ground too, little hearts and stuff. Jesus Christ! Okay, we got an hour to get back. I'm here. I need to be here. That's really close, thankfully. Let's do a runner. I'm gonna wait for tomorrow morning to look at that journal entry again when I'm less scared. <laughs> Let's just try to get through the night, huh? Oh. Oh. Christ, it was fast. So I've shot three times with this and it's not even at half, so I think it holds eight shots? Oh, maybe I shouldn't reload it. Can I partially reload it or would I waste all- I'd probably waste all the rounds inside of it, wouldn't I? That's how the pistol works. So yeah, I probably don't want to reload it. It wouldn't make any sense for it to use up all of the ammo though. Because I'm not replacing the magazine, I'm just stuffing more shells in, but still. I'm just going to be safe and not reload it. Oh. So the book says, uh, there's a note at the bottom, radio tower, door 21, 12 p.m. And then a list of, looks like four different names. At the top, I can only make out the words, devil, devil horns, or g. The rest of the words are unreadable. And didn't I read at the radio tower a report that some people had evacuated from the 3C place? through the underground tunnels into the radio tower. Is that the list of people that came through? At 12 p.m., those four people arrived? 
And then Devil Horns Orga... What could that be? Devil Horns Organizing, perhaps? Talking about how they're being overrun and needed to evac? Something like that, maybe. I noticed in the journal there's a note for it, too. I found an old journal in the Elephant's Cottage. Looks like it was written by one of ours. One of the notes mentions a radio tower and some downward passage. It might be worth investigating. According to the notes, the radio tower is located in the southwestern edge of the swamp. So I guess that's kind of your hint to go there if you hadn't have already found it like I did. But also, notice the language. Looks like it was written by one of ours. I mean, I already, like, 99% was sure that I was part of the military, but... It pretty much explicitly says it there. One of ours. Okay, before I end the episode, I want to test one thing. Because firing my gun doesn't cause the game to save, and the game last saved at the beginning of the day, I want to test the shotgun reload thing. Just to be sure. So theoretically, if I just took one shotgun shell... Where are they? Oh, there they are. And pressed reload, it should just add one little bit to the bar, right? It does! Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's only the pistol and, I guess, any other kind of magazine-based thing where if you reload it, it wastes what was in there. Alright. Well, on that note, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... Well... It looks like we've been basically everywhere. I guess, technically, there could be something here, maybe. But I think I'm... Like, I've pretty well explored everything, so I think what I'm going to do is our our end game for this zone is the radio tower but I have not finished at the village I feel like there must be more there um, I didn't explore the tree very well I couldn't get into the basement of course but I didn't explore the tree area very well I didn't get very close to it so there might be other pathways there's that blocked path that I can use my shovel to dig out I haven't talked to the old man in a while I might be able to show them some of the items that I've found and perhaps talk about new things so when I come back, I'm going to head back to the village and just make sure that there's nothing more to do there before I head to the radio tower.